Hi, good afternoon everybody. This is Denise Ryan with Saloma Light Therapy and I'm waiting on a very special guest to join me today. Um, let me just see. We are waiting. There she is. Okay. I'm waiting on. I'm going to let her introduce herself. So... Sit tight. Here she comes. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How Hi. are you? So let's start over and introduce ourselves. I'm Denise Ryan with Saloma Light Therapy. And um, I'm so happy to be joined here today by the fabulous Casey Boom. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, this is great. You know, <laughs> I was just thinking. Yeah. By sheer coincidence, we didn't plan this. But we were both on the ASCP, the um, Associated Skincare Professionals Awards this afternoon. We were, we were, and you won an award, so congrats on that. And Saluma won award, that award for the third year in a row. So Amazing, that, I mean, and I'm not surprised. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so it was, it was, so I'm watching it because we can tell now it was recorded. And right. uh, so I'm watching it, um, on my phone and I'm thinking, oh, this all came together so nicely. And it was it very did. fun. I cracked up many times. I mean, that's where you at. Wasn't that hilarious? That wasn't planned, right? It was. So just, no, just for no. The, for the viewers that are watching, certain people couldn't be present to accept their awards. And every right. time there was a person missing, the hosts were all taking a drink. <laughs> yeah, we would say, oh, where lovely. are you at? And I was accepting all at? the awards for everyone. It was fun. It was hilarious. It was, it was very, very cute. And, um, but for the person sitting waiting to be called, we're like behind a black curtain. So we did, you're not part of any of that until finally you go live. And right, and then... No, yeah, and there's no, and so it was the winner. So they were expecting me to be you know, doing the usual dance. And it was like, oh, oh, we're on? So it was pretty Okay, fun. that makes more sense because it's like someone would come on and it's like there was no reaction. It's like, you won! <laughs> right, exactly. It's like, you, re you don't know where you're at. You'd, I'd, another time I would know that the announcement is made and then they make it your, your, your part of the video comes live. Right. So anyway, it was, it was fun and it was very fun and it was really well edited. It came together nicely. So yeah, they did a great job. Yeah. So did you guys, you, yeah, I mean, you had to do a lot of sort of ad lib stuff. We did. And it's, you know, it, it's hard to do through the computer, through the phone, you know, it's hard to read people's energy. So we did the best that we could. And it, it was yeah. fun. I and wore my sequins. And you did. So did I. And feathers yeah. and the whole, the whole thing. So we missed Lorena. We should have had Lorena. I know. Yeah, yeah, next time. Yes, definitely. So um, I don't know if all of our audience knows you, Casey, but okay. um, you're just a very interesting person. You've got so much going on. You're very entrepreneurial, very successful. Uh, Glow Skin Care is a very successful uh, spa in Toluca Lake in yes. Los Angeles. Yeah. And um, you also do a podcast regularly. I was just listening to your um um, the scheduling one, not the scheduling one, but organizing your time. Yes. Uh, it, it was great. Thank was you. Awesome. Yeah, you guys Thank are you. good together. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, so I've got my Glow Skin Care. It's a skincare studio out here in Los Angeles. Um, I have my podcast with Lorena, Beauty Biz BFFs, where we're talking beauty, business. We're specifically talking to professor professionals in the beauty industry. I also have a line of cold rollers perfect facial towels that estheticians use in the treatment room. I do some business coaching, just a little bit of everything. I know, you're definitely an entrepreneur. And I know that your, your uh, podcast is super popular. So congratulations on that. It's, Thank not, you. it's not that easy to just get up there and, and, and not have a script. That's really it, impressive. It's not. Thank you. It's not easy, um, but I do love it. And I love, I love our community and I love helping the community. So I just felt like, the podcast was the perfect direction to go because I've been in this industry a long time, 14 years as a licensed esthetician. And I wish I had known a lot of the things that I know now. So now I'm just trying to share that with the rest of the community. Yeah. So when did you start the podcast? How long ago was that? Um, it's been, I think it'll be two years in September that we started the podcast. Nice. 
Wow, yeah. that's, that's impressive. I've only started listening to podcasts myself maybe six months ago. So there you go, Casey, ahead of the curve again. <laughs> I try and stay just a little, like just a couple steps ahead. Yeah, great. Thank so, you. Um, Thank you. Yeah, so do you want to share anything else about your, your business? Or I know we're speaking probably in a large part to your audience out there too. Right. I mean, I could share all sorts of stuff. Is there anything specific you wanted me to share? I mean, well, maybe you know, we just talk about your Saloma story. I know that you've been yes. using the device for a long time. I know that you worked with yeah, uh, that Kelsey. one right here. <laughs> oh, there it is. So, uh, um, yeah, initially you worked with Chelsea and you even invited our Chelsea on to do uh, a pod That was a great podcast, by the way. It was, it was very Chelsea. I love Chelsea. She's the yeah. sweetest. Um, really, really good information. So, here's my story with LED. And I think this probably is relatable for a lot of people for a long time. Because, again, I've been in the industry, you know, going on 14 years. And when I first got in and I didn't know a lot about LED and I'm like, well, it's just a light. How could a light really do anything? Right. And I kind of just papooed it and went on with my career. And then slowly, you know, you, you start to see trends come, you see cycles, you see people talking about stuff. So I started to do some research on the LED again. And, you know, I went and I bought the inexpensive ones because I, at first I didn't want to invest a lot of money. Let me be totally transparent because that's, kind of how I operate <laughs> and I was just like okay this isn't doing anything but I kept hearing and I heard about Saluma I'm hearing about different companies and finally when I found when I finally decided to bite the bullet and spend the money I was amazed by not only like the quality of the product but the, the results that it was giving I mean even just after using it one time on my skin I started to see a difference yeah um, and you know, sometimes it was hard to convince my clients that it was worth it. But once they had a treatment and then, then they're hooked and then they want a series of treatments and then the results just keep getting better. And <laughs> it's so, and it's just so amazing that it's so, it, it's not invasive. It's good for basically everybody. So mm -hmm. I'm just such a huge fan, not only for your face, but I actually, you know, I have two at Glow Skin Care that we use in the treatment room. And then I also have one that I use, per, you know, for myself. I also got one for my mom because she was having a lot of um, arthritic pain in her hips, mm -hmm. like horrible pain to the point where they're like, the, one of the only options is going to be surgery. So I said, mom, yeah. I know this might sound crazy, but just use the Saluma. And she says it's changed her life. She uses it every oh. single day. So just so to see... see has she avoided the surgery? Yes. Yeah. At this point, but I think at this point, who knows down the line? But right now, the Saluma is enough, and she, it, it's so easy. You can sit in bed with this, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I know just it, love it. it's it's hard to have an excuse not to use your your Saluma. It's so portable, so lightweight, so easy to use, so versatile, and so good for so many things. Yes. I I smiled when you said um, in the beginning. It was, you know, it was just lights and you couldn't believe that there could be such a therapeutic benefit. Well, it was exactly the same for me. I come from a scientific background and everything has to be researched and I have to delve into everything very, very deeply. And I have to become an expert on anything that I'm involved with. So right. I spent about six months initially. Um, and, I mean, but now it's been eight years and I've written all the papers and all the, all of our, our, pretty much everything for the company related to the science of the the product I had to research and develop and understand. But when you actually delve into the science behind the technology and understand it, it's pretty astonishing. And it, what's more astonishing is, is that this hasn't become part of mainstream, even medicine, decades ago. It's right. so valuable. I mean, the fact it that is. with your trained eye, you can see a benefit to your skin, and it's the same with pain. If you have pain, nearly everybody stands up after even one treatment and notices a difference. And as you said, the more you use it, it's, an, uh, it, it's a cumulative situation. The more you use it, the better the benefits. So right. that's, that's really nice. So has it enabled you to, um, to um, generate more income because you have LED devices? Absolutely. 
absolutely. It, it's, I feel like, again, once I, just like you need to be, you need to know all the ins and outs before, you mm -hmm. know, you're committed to something. I'm kind of the same way. So for me, once I did the research, once I started using the product, I had a much easier time educating my clients on the benefits and why it was going to be so great for them. So for me, it's such an easy upsell. Um, and I'm even including it in some of my like higher end facials, which of course then I'm going to charge more if I'm going to use the Saluma. I also uh, created an LED bar inside. Oh, yeah. Skin. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Tell us about that. Tell us about that. Yeah. So we have an LED bar. I have two beds set up with two of the LEDs. And basically any client that spends, you know, over a certain amount of money gets to use the LED bar either before or after their treatment complimentary. And that, again, is just to introduce them to the, the panel and see, to the surface, see what it's all about. Take a nap because who wants to leave at the, at the end of their facial? Everyone wants to stay. So all they have to do is, you know, float over to the other room, continue to nap. I mean, this this thing puts me to bed. I don't know about other people, but like every it, time. <laughs> every time. And yeah. I'm I'm a very high energy person. I can't shut off my brain. And for some reason the the lights just do something that they're amazing. They do something therapeutic for me. Well, we know we know what they do at the bio biochemistry level. So right. it makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, that I mean it, I'm the same, high energy, go, go, go. I hit the bed, the pillow and my eyes are wide awake. But I tend to actually do my Saloma in the morning because I'm, I, I put in such a crazy day every day. I usually can go to sleep pretty well, um, but I do my Saloma in the morning. I don't like to devote the time to it, so I have it by the bed. And even if it's pitch dark, I reach down for it. I pull it up over my face. I can do the buttons in the dark. And then yep. I usually go back to sleep. I it, I. I sort of judge whether or not I'm going to use it by how much light is coming through the curtains. Right. So I love that. That's, and that's I love that you, that you said you don't really want to be bothered by it during the day because I feel the same way. Uh -huh. So I do the same thing. It's either first thing in the morning or before I go to bed, yeah. use it. So then I don't have to, I'm already in bed. I don't have yeah, to. You don't have to plan to the, the 30 minutes. Now, if I'm watching TV and there's other places I need to use it, I... I'll do it watching TV and I'll just do it repeatedly. And that's so easy as well. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was saying with my mom. It's like, you know, the thing that I convinced her is like, mom, even if you don't believe in this technology, all you have to do is sit in bed, watch TV, put it on your hip, just try it. And of course, you know, she called me raving about it, that she went from crazy pain to, you know, manageable. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Cause it really can help change people's lives. I don't know if everybody listening is aware that the Saluma has been used by the US military for close to seven years now to treat their combat injuries uh, with great success. So it's we have a, a relationship with the Semper Fi Fund and the Wounded Warrior community. So so that's been really Incredible. very rewarding because they, they just need all the help they can get. So it's really nice that we can make that contribution to their lives. Absolutely, I love that. Yeah, so that's great. So. Yeah. Um, Another sort of interesting thing that's come up, and Karen, if you're on, give us a little wave so we know you're there. Um, by sheer coincidence, my, uh, I'm from Dublin, Ireland, and my cousin Karen is a casting director and lives in Toluca Lake, and she's been raving about her esthetician and, and local spa. Oh, there she is. There she is. She's I there. love Karen. Hi. Karen's Hi. the sweetest. Hi, Karen. She's great. And, Hi, Karen. Um, it, we didn't put two and two together until I think about three months ago. And that's so uh, funny. I, actually, what happened was I said to her about three months ago, I said, you should check out Casey Boone Spa because she's in your neighborhood. And she said, that is my esthetician. That's who I've been going to. So again, that was, that was, uh, okay. okay it's such so, a small world. Yeah. It's Kate, such a small world. She she said, hi, Casey yeah. Oh, uh, hi. Yeah. Cute. <laughs> Yeah, Thank you. I, I mean, maybe it. we should let her in, but we'd never get a word in it twice. Right. I think right? I don't think <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we could do a three way. I don't think so. I tried once. It doesn't. Oh, work. you did. So I was on Facebook the other day because we're, we're streaming. We should talk about the weekend, too. But yes. tomorrow we have our own uh, Love Saluma Get a Room virtual Vegas event. So all of the shows are canceled. Right. And so we decided we put up our booth in the warehouse and we're going to be streaming doing these 
on the hour every hour and we probably won't run the hour because that would be almost impossible but we're going to right. start at eight in the morning run till four on facebook and instagram except when we're doing live chats with guests and okay. we so i found out the hard way during the week that if you have a business page on facebook you actually can't do at least i couldn't figure out how to do a chat so we, we googled it and it's apparently that's not possible so really some of the interviews yeah i thought that was interesting so some of the interviews so that's going on uh, all day tomorrow. tomorrow are you gonna have are you gonna have running specials just we like you would for the special. show we're, okay yeah, because i had our, some I had some of my followers and listeners saying that they were per they were getting ready to purchase a Saluma. So oh, that's fantastic. probably what they're gearing up for. Yes. So we we started to run the special last Monday. So we're already on our fourth day. And it's um, we, we're giving the usual discount that we do. But we're also for those who are able to um, come to Vegas next year, we're paying for your accommodation. So it's a really special, really unique uh, opportunity and we've never offered I don't think the industry has ever seen anything like this love no. to get a room special so it's really really it's been super popular and so that's running but we're actually running that um, all day tomorrow but we're also uh, joining you at an event on Saturday and that's over the weekend Saturday. as well yeah yeah, yeah. Where, where we're both going to be attending another virtual uh, trade show called the beauty, the, beauty circuit. Circuit. the beauty circuit yeah, yeah. i'm yeah. very excited about that yeah. i think this is kind of the way of the future like the future i i still will like to see in-person conventions because there's just nothing like it especially the vegas show which is Fantastic. my all-time favorite yeah. yeah but what a great alternative especially for you know maybe a newer esthetician who's never been to a convention or maybe if you're busy for the whole week, you can just pop in this weekend for this virtual convention, which I think is super well, cool. Well, true. And we're doing the same thing tomorrow. We're actually opening up our specials, our Love Saloon and Get a Room special, to everybody in the U.S. So we have our distributors on standby to offer their distributor, their offers around the world. We don't interfere with their prices and their specials. But in the U.S., we're opening it up to all 50 states. And if you think about it, Casey, when you go to Vegas, you usually see um, a lot of people from California and Arizona yeah. and Nevada, and then you'll see some coming in from New York or Florida or Texas, but it's still almost a regional event. You'll see more yeah. people from around the, around the country, but this is an opportunity, and I think these virtual events open up um, educational opportunities as well as specials to everybody. There's certain people never travel to trade shows because they're so far away from their locations yeah and, uh, i mean if you think about it there's there's several in southern florida there's a big one in new york there's several in chicago um but that doesn't cover a whole lot of the country at all it so does not i think i think these events that we're doing over the next few days um we'll we'll learn a lot but i think they will yeah. never completely go away agreed Agreed 100%. Yeah. And they shouldn't. And like yeah. you said, I think this is access for a lot of people that are all over the country because not everyone could, you know, go to Vegas or afford to go to Vegas. I mean, me personally, when I was a young, broke esthetician, I just could, yeah. I couldn't go, you know. Yeah, so I think exactly. it's really cool for, for people that, uh, you know, can't afford it. Now they can. Yeah. I mean, you to be able to get the specials without the cost of the airplane and the, and the, the, uh, the, the hotel and all the it, there's a lot of expense with going to a show. Sure. So yeah. I think I think it's I think it's a great idea. I'm excited to see how the next few days me um, too pan out. It'll be, <laughs> be great. It's a lot of new technology. I'm sure I was feeling a little overwhelmed, but I'm really excited. It's like they customize booths for us and the whole thing. So it should be oh, cool. It's fantastic. Yeah, I yeah. think though I think though uh, Casey, if we feel like it goes well, which I think it will. Um, yeah. I think the platform is very user friendly, and the work for the for the most part building our booth in this virtual site is pretty much done. So yeah. I think you know I would definitely I definitely intend to do the next events for sure. Me too. Check Me it too. out. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Okay. Why not? Yeah. So I, I'm excited. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Okay. Well, what All else right. do you want to talk about? I don't know. I've seen people asking questions, but I haven't read anything. Yeah, I haven't seen. Let me see. I'm happy to answer. Answer. I'm happy for us to answer questions. I've seen all sorts of stuff flying through. I don't yeah, know well, let's ever... see if there's let's see if there's some questions. I know that Chelsea, our favorite girl, is on yeah. here answering questions. 
So she probably oh, she got is. them. Yeah, she is. Amazing. Um, I, I, need I figured if anyone's, on, if anyone's on here. Okay, I think so. One or two. Um, no, probably do both. You put a Ziploc or something over hands and then like, not sure what that was about. I think people are helping other people answering. Yes, we do offer Saluma in Canada. Actually, our... It's, it's, uh, maybe it's, it's uh, Chelsea answering that one. So um, our Canadian distributor is called Spavaro, and they're in okay. Toronto, so just look them up, S-P-A-V-A-R-O. So hi, Chelsea, we see you. Student esthetician, so how does Saluma work? And well, that's a, that's a one-hour conversation right there. So I was going to listen to my podcast. Or, yes. You know, do you have... Plenty of information on your website, I'm sure. Yeah, tons of information. You can go to info at saluma.com. And actually, you should check out Casey's podcast. And in particular, find the one where Casey and Lorena interviewed uh, Chelsea because you guys really got into it very deeply. And it was very, very well done. The information was fantastic. I mean, I mean yes, Chelsea I gave so much good information, you know, and she really breaks it down so you can kind of like, you really understand how it works. Understand it. Yeah. No, exactly. Yes. Here's yeah. one maybe you can answer, Casey. It's should someone uh, be used before or after a peel or not at all? What's your uh, feeling on that? I mean, you could totally do it before. I personally actually like to do it after a peel. I'll usually use the acne setting, which is the blue light setting. Um, or I know it's blue light that has the most blue light. And uh, I feel like it actually helps already start uh, reducing inflammation, in the healing process post peel. Um, but in my opinion, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but there, you could do it before that. That's absolutely fine. You can, you can always use light therapy before anything because it's just yeah. helping prepare the skill and, and energize the skin. You can never do any right. harm. I think with the peels, it, it depends a little bit on the severity of the peel, the depth of the peel, yeah. the percentage of active ingredients, the pH. So as a Absolutely. practitioner, you need to understand all those elements so you know yes. when is appropriate. If it's completely neutralized, my understanding is you can use it right away. But deeper peels, you may have a waiting period. Um, Correct. So, oh, perfect, Chelsea. She, somebody was asking, Casey, where, where to find the podcast. Ah. So... Um, He's after giving Beauty Biz BFF, so that's going to be easy yep. for them to find. So that's really great. Yep. Thank you for being on the ball, Thanks, Chelsea. Uh, <laughs> uh, Chelsea. It's actually kind of hard to always keep up with the um, with the questions here. When it is. When it you're is. chatting. It is. So, it's a lot of things to to maneuver. But yeah, check out the podcast. It, we're on Instagram at Beauty Biz BFF podcast, and then we're anywhere podcasts are found, Beauty Biz BFFs. Yeah, it's easy once you know what to look for. So something's yeah. happening here. I'm sorry I missed why your mom was going to surgery. Was it plastic surgery or pain? And it was actually probably a, 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 a hip replacement or hip surgery. Was that the issue for your mom? It was that mom? something that they had, like, su a potential suggestion. Okay. And so I said, well, why don't you try the Saluma before, you know, they, you know before you're ready, get ready to get be cut into and uh, it helped with her pain immensely. I mean, she calls me all the time yeah. and she's like, still working, I'm still using it. Yeah, so that's yeah. fantastic. It so is. somebody's asking uh, here about melasma. Now we all know melasma is really tricky to treat. What's your, what's your protocol there? Do you, or do you have a no. melasma protocol? Uh, it, it really depends on the person, but you know, there's a lot of different ways to treat melasma, but is it, it's something ongoing and not only can it be caused or uh, reacted from the sun, it can be from mm -hmm. certain products and from heat. So that's yeah. where you kind of have to be a little bit careful when you're using the Saluma. I don't know, again, correct me if I'm wrong, you have to be careful because heat can bring out uh, some right. of that pigmentation. So I've actually spoken with some experts on, on this subject and read some research. So the, I think the heat is a more of a myth because what we're uh, what actually is happening out in the sun and it's not mm -hmm. the heat of the sun, it's the UV light that's causing the issue. And I've ever, never seen any research that indicated that heat does. While there is a little heat emitted from the circuit board, there's no thermal energy being emitted right. from the device. Right. So the best paper, and I would advise anybody listening that um, would like to read this paper, it was the only paper I've ever seen on treating melasma. It's a new paper. It was only issued in the late 2019. 
by okay. um, a Dr. Daniel Barillet out of McGill University in um, uh, Montreal. And he's a leading researcher in this area of light therapy. Um, and he found he used a far infrared and had really, really good results. So you could, any of the, any of the studies I've seen to treat pigmentation and, infra, and um, uh, melasma have been using either red or near infrared or a combination because they basically yeah. do the same thing except the near infrared get, reaches the cells at a, at a slightly deeper level. Um, right. There isn't tons of research. So that's why I always, um, but he did have success. The downside to his study is that it was a very small sample size. It was under 10 people. Okay. So you okay. really need yeah, more than, hard. yeah, hard. you really need more than 30 people yeah. in a study to call it st statistically significant. But he right. did have good results. He did, I remember he did say it took a while. And then when they went back after time and checked in with the people they treated that didn't see results, over time, they did. So like you said earlier, the more you use this kind of therapy, the better the better the results. But I do think it depends on the person's, um, uh, their, their habits and their adherence to protocols. And, and I've, uh, I've, you know, there's other products that you can use in conjunction with light therapy to help with the situation. But it's a difficult, it's a difficult uh, issue to treat. It is. So it I, is. Hope, I hope that was that helpful. I definitely think anybody interested in um, treating melasma or hyperpigmentation should, should check out Dr. Barillet's article because he's just such a renowned researcher and anything he does is really, really good. So he's one of my yeah. favorites. I'll have to check that um, out too because, you know, I've read so many different things, you know. I know. Yeah, it's a, it's a great one to check out. Um, after they receive a facial, you, after they receive a facial, you give the LED or uh, do they have product on their skin? I, know I, you know always, kind of I always do clean, dry skin. I don't want, you know, I think that gives the best results and I don't want that light having to like break down anything. I know there are products out there that are made to work with the LED, um, but I feel like the closer to the face and again on clean, dry skin, I get the best results that way. Yeah. So there's actually, that's the, the, there are products that are so-called, um, I have to be careful here, but <laughs> it, it's, they're real. There's really no products designed to be used with light therapy, but there right. are products that would be less harmful to be, if you, if you feel like you want to use something like we know, hyaluronic acid is used when, when needling. And that right. will, you know, but needling, don't forget, you're actually creating those channels in order for the, the serum to penetrate. And Saluma is only going to enhance the outcome, the overall outcome. But when it comes right. to using any product, if you do choose to use something, use a water-based clear serum, but preferably yeah. nothing on the, on the skin. As soon as we go to masks, charcoal masks, clay masks, jelly masks, anything thick or opaque, would, you're... Yeah. It's just a barrier to the penetration of the light. So you're wasting exactly. your time. I was going to yeah. say, I see a lot of times on Instagram, you know, they put the jelly mask on and then put the Saluma over. And I'm like, it's, it's just, it's not, doing, I don't know you're, you're doing a disservice to your clients. If you do that, it looks cool, but it's not, it's, you're doing a disservice to your client. That should be two yeah. separate treatments or they we should agree. be done not together. <laughs> Yeah, no, we agree. Or do it, do the light and then do the, the treatment afterwards. Right, um, right. But there's another one here. I'm not sure I understand it. Um, uh, you can use as many times. Uh, okay, no, I think somebody else. We have uh, literally best Saluma protocol for the best energy absorbed. Clean, dry skin. Thank you for that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It looks like Chelsea's answering all the questions. Isn't I she? think she she's is. She's so fast. She's on it. <laughs> she is I know. fast. She's, she's on it. Okay. She even answered that, gave the address and or the phone number for the Canadian um, oh, she's on it. person. That's very cool. There it is. Have we anything new in here, Chelsea? I think you've answered them all. Goodness me. She's fast. <laughs> yeah. sending us hearts. Someone's saying, how do you spell the doctor's name? <laughs> how do you spell the doctor's name? Oh, and I don't know what doctor we're referring to. 
<laughs> anyway, okay. Well, I'm not seeing anything new here, Casey. All good. It's been kind of. Yep, I think there's lots of questions though. Do you apply the products after? I was going to say, if anyone on? specifically had more questions, they're always feel free to reach out on my page. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So thanks for having think, me. This has been fun. Yeah, this was fun. It was great to see you twice in one day, although not in I know. person, unfortunately. But hopefully we'll get back to in-person visits soon. Um, it doesn't feel yeah. like it, but well, you know, I hopefully soon. We Ho can only hopefully. be hopeful. I know. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope that by next, hopefully by next year, that things are back to normal, and you know, we can see you at the trade show. Yeah, it does feel like it could be next year, but I'm I'm hoping sooner than that. So um, everybody, wash your hands. Yeah. The, uh, mindful of social distancing and please stay well we love you all and we want you all to stay healthy happy and be successful and we can't be successful if we're out sick so um we care for you and uh yeah casey this was super next time we'll bring lorena on with you yeah i'd love that she would yeah. love that too yeah absolutely okay everybody Mwah. we love you take care bye Thank casey so it was much. a pleasure okay yes. take care okay. all Bye. right here goes bye